Hi everyone. Let's talk about today how to solve such expressions with exponents using the rules. So in such questions, first we have to see do we have any numbers? So yes, we have a numbers here, seven over fourteen. First we will solve them. I can simplify it with number seven. So I'll divide both numerator and denominator with seven, and I'll get one by two. Now after that we have to solve the like terms. So here the like term is x over x. Raised to power negative four. Now here we have to use the rule of division, which says a raised to power m over a raised to power n is equals to a raised to power m minus n. So we'll do the same. Now since with the x they don't have given us the power, so we will take it as one. So it is x raised to power one over x raised to power minus four. So we'll use the same formula which I have written here. So it would be x raised to power one minus Minus four because the value for m is one and the value for n is negative four. So we'll get here is equals to x raised to power one. Negative into negative would be positive plus four, which is equals to x raised to power five. So we'll get for this x raised to power five. Similarly, now we have to solve for y. Y over y raised to power minus two. So we'll get here y is equals to y. Raised to power one, y raised to power negative two. Now after that we can just use the same rule, one minus minus two, which is equals to y raised to power one plus two, which is equals to y raised to power three. So we have already solved all the values which are given in the expression. So seven over fourteen has given us one by two. We'll write on here one by two. Now then we have solved here for the variable which is x. So we'll write down here the value for x. We got x raised to power five. Then we solve for the variable of y. So we have got here y raised to power three. So the final answer is x raised to power five, y raised to power three over two. So this is how we can solve the exponents. Now let's work with the question number two. Now in question number two, we don't have any number in the denominator place. We have all the numbers in the numerator place. So what we have to do here, we have to just multiply. So here we have to use the rule of multiplication, which says a raised to power m into a raised to power n is equals to a raised to power m plus n. Now before we work with this rule, we have to see do we have any numbers here. So if you can see, yes, we have a numbers here. So the numbers are two and four. So we'll write on here two into four into then after that we have x raised to power three into x raised to power negative four into x. We have to write the like terms together into y raised to power minus five into y raised to power two into y raised to power five. Now first we will solve the number. So two into four is eight. We'll write on that. Then after that we have to solve for x raised to power three. So I'll just write on here two into four is equals to eight. Then x raised to power three into x raised to power minus four into x. So we have to use the rule of multiplication, which says if The like terms, which are given in terms of exponents, you are multiplying. We have to add the powers, so we will add the powers here. It would be three plus minus four plus. Now, since here they have given us x, that means x raised to power one. We'll write on here one. So it would be equals to x raised to power three minus four plus one, which is equals to x raised to power four. Minus four, which is equals to x raised to power zero, and here we have to use the another rule, which says a raised to power zero equals to one. Any term raised to power zero will be equals to one. Now we will use it for y as well. Y raised to power minus five into y raised to power two into y raised to power five is equals to y raised to power minus five plus two plus five, which is equals to Y raised to power minus five plus seven, which is equals to y raised to power two. So the final answer for this question would be equals to. We write on here is equals to. So for the number we got eight into for the x value we got one into y value we will get y raised to power two. So finally the answer is eight 
y raised to power 2. So that is the answer for this question. Now in this question we are going to use the another rule of exponent which says a raised to power m into b raised to power n raised to power x is equals to a raised to power m raised to power x into b raised to power n raised to power x and then we have to multiply the powers a raised to power m into x into b raised to power n into x. So we are going to use the rule here. Now since they have already given us some numbers inside the bracket and a power outside the bracket so we have to distribute that power to all the values which are given inside the bracket. That means I will write on 2 raised to power 2 into y raised to power 4 and then a bracket and then raised to power 2 over 4 raised to power 2 into y raised to power 2. So first we will solve the number. So 2 raised to power 2 means 2 into 2 which is equals to 4. We will write down here 4. Then 4 raised to power 2 is equals to 4 into 4 is equals to 16. We will write down here 16. Then into y raised to power 4 into 2 we have to multiply the powers y raised to power 4 into 2 which is equals to y raised to power 8 over y raised to power 2. Now we will solve first 4 over 16. We will simplify it with number 4. We will get here 1 by 4. Now y raised to power 8 over y raised to power 2 we will use the rule of division which says we have to subtract the powers which is equals to y raised to power 6. What it means the final answer is 1 over 4 into y raised to power 6 which is equals to y raised to power 6 over 4. In this question we will use the rule which I have already explained in the previous question. So first we will open the second bracket here. So we will write down here the first bracket as such because we don't have a power outside the first bracket. We will write down it as 2y raised to power 5 but for the second bracket we have to distribute the powers to all the terms which are given within the bracket. So 3 raised to power 2 into x raised to power 2 raised to power 2 into y raised to power 3 raised to power 2 over z square raised to power 2. Now we will first solve this. We will write down here is equals to x square z raised to power 4 divided by 2 y raised to power 5. Now 3 raised to power 2 means 3 into 3 which is equals to 9. We will write down that here. 9 into x raised to power 2 into 2 means x raised to power 4 y raised to power 3 into 2 is y raised to power 6. z raised to power 2 into 2 is raised z raised to power 4. Now after this we will first write the numbers here. So we have 9 by 2. We cannot simplify it so I have written it as 9 over 2. Now next is x raised to power 2 into x raised to power 4. I write down the like terms together into y raised to power 6 over y raised to power 5 into z raised to power 4 over z raised to power 4. Now after this we have to just solve this part which is equals to 9 over 2. Now here we will use the rule of multiplication 2 plus 4. Here we will use the rule of subtraction because it's division 6 minus 5. Now first we will solve the number here. So that would be 9 over 2 into x raised to power 2 plus 4 rule of multiplication. y raised to power 6 minus 5 rule of division. z 4 minus 4 rule of division is equals to 9 over 2 x raised to power 6 y raised to power 1 z raised to power 0. So here we are going to use the rule a raised to power 0 which is equals to 1. So 9 by 2 x raised to power 6 y raised to power 1 into 1 which is equals to 9 over 2 x raised to power 6 y raised to power 1. So that is the final answer for this question.